so now we'll just create a function with arguments or parameterized functions so i'm just creating a program okay so this is the standard namespace so the main idea here is okay we have to read two numbers from the keyboard and we will just try to add these numbers with the help of arguments so i am just defining my function so the return type is int name of the function is okay add and here i am just taking two variables okay int a and int b so this is the function declaration sorry this is the function definition so this is the function definition and here i am just returning okay the sum of a and b okay so here is the main so in this main what i'll do i'll just okay i'll just declare two variables of type integer and i'll read them from the keyboard okay so i'll just ask from the user enter first number and i'll read it and i'll just save it as x okay in a similar way i'll just read the second number from the standard input stream enter second number and i'll just read it as y okay so the main task is to pass these numbers x and y as an arguments okay to the calling function so now we have to write the calling part so the name of the function is add okay and inside this we have to uh, we have to uh, we have to just pass these two okay variables as arguments so x and y has been passed as an argument to this calling function add and it will just okay it will just return the value okay to this particular variable that is s so i'll just tell that what will happen it will just print okay the sum is okay and in the next line it will just print s okay and we'll just return zero this is not a mandatory step okay so i'll just save this as func2.cpp so let's try to run this okay program and see if there are any errors so it has successfully compiled there are no errors okay so what it has done okay what the program will do it will read the number first number will be read okay it will be stored second number will be read it will be stored and here okay these two numbers are passed as an argument so these are the okay these are the actual arguments okay these are the actual arguments that we have passed inside the function definition and the control will then direct okay these particular arguments that is the actual arguments to the definition part and here in the definition these actual arguments are being are copied okay the values of these actual arguments are being transferred into variable a and b okay the value of y will be stored in a and the value of uh, the value of x will be stored in a and the value of y will be stored in b okay so x to a and y to b so these arguments here are these are the formal arguments okay these are the formal arguments or you can say they are temporary arguments okay these are the temporary arguments temporary representations you can say okay so when this a and b contains the value of x and y so now what we have done we have just add them and the value will be returned okay so the value is the value will be returned from where it is called okay so the control will now again will be transferred to the calling part and the control will come here and this particular submit the value that has been summed up it will be okay stored in this variable s and here the sum will be given as it will be produced as s okay so let's try to run this okay so the first number i'll just input as 50 the second is 20 and here you can see the sum is 70 okay so the actual arguments have just transferred its okay values to the formal arguments and the processing will be done okay and the value will be returned to the okay to the to the particular line from where it has been called it means that the 
return value will be okay at line number 17 okay this particular value will be returned and at the same time this return value will be stored okay in the variable that is s and we'll just print the value of this variable s okay so i hope now it is clear to you now thanks